Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making pressure cooker beef and broccoli. Alright guys, I'm starting out in my 8-quart pressure cooker. I have it set on saute and it's heated up. I'm going to start by adding in some olive oil. And guys, you could very easily do this in your instant pot. It's just today I chose to use my pressure cooker because I haven't used this one in a while. The only difference between a pressure cooker and an instant pot is a name brand. An instant pot is a pressure cooker for those who didn't know that. Now I have some uh, steaks here I diced up. And I season them with some salt and pepper. I'm going to fry these in about two batches because we don't want to crowd the pressure cooker or we'll get a steaming action and we won't get a good brown on our beef. So I'm going to get that in there and start browning that up a while, guys. All right, guys, now that my beef is all browned up and I'm still on a saute setting, I have one red onion here I diced up. We're going to throw that in. You could also use a regular yellow onion. It's just I have these to use up. I'm going to saute that in with the beef for a few minutes so that starts to turn translucent and it softens up. All right, guys, now that this sauteed for a few minutes and my onions are softened, I'm going to add in two cups of beef broth. I'm just squeezing it down in there. I'm going to give this a quick stir. All right, I'm going to put my lid on here. I can figure out how to put my lid on here, guys. Okay, now I'm going to make sure I'm set on seal. I'm going to set this to pressure cook on high pressure for 10 minutes and I'll do a quick release of the pressure. Alright guys, now that my time's up and I did that quick release of the pressure, I have some of these soy flavored Raymond noodles. You could also get the uh, Oriental or Asian flavor. I'm going to take the seasoning pack. We're using three of them. I bought four, but we're going to use three today. And I don't know what I got on my thumb, guys, but it looked like it was dirty. We don't want that. I'm going to add in the three seasoning packs. This is going to give it a good Chinese flavor. So get all them down in there. Let me give that a quick stir. It's smelling good, guys. And I'm going to take the three packs of noodles and we're just going to place them down in the pressure cooker right into that beef liquid. And we might have to break our third one and mess a little in there, but it'll be fine. And our third one. And guys, like I said, I'm using an eight quart pressure cooker. If you use a six quart, you're definitely going to have to break those down, which I'm going to do that anyways. I'm breaking it over the trash can. Stick this one down in here. Get down in there, you. And put this one over here. All right now, I have some broccoli, broccoli florets. This is a two pound pack that's frozen. I'm going to add in one pound and see how we're looking. I'm just going to go ahead and add in both pounds, two pounds of broccoli. Right, just smooth that out. Now I'm going to seal my lid back on here. Don't use this too often, guys. So now we're going to set this here on pressure. And I'm going to pressure cook this for about five minutes, and then we'll do a quick release of the pressure, guys. Guys, I decided to let this go for three minutes instead of five. I didn't want to overdo my broccoli. I'm just going to get in here and give this a stir. You see the noodles are nice and tender. And most of that liquid is absorbed. This is ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Guys, I went ahead and I put some hoisin sauce on here. It's like a sweet, savory soy sauce flavor. It's really delicious. You can also use like a teriyaki glaze. And I went ahead and I put some uh, sesame seed on here. Let me get in here and try this. Beef is nice and tender. Broccoli soft, but you can see it's not mush. And Holly's going to get her ass kicked because she keeps making noise while I'm recording my video. Let me try the, the noodles. They can't wait to eat, but then they're interrupting me and I'm not going to retake today. Hold on, guys. These noodles aren't cooperating with me.
noodles are good, has a good Chinese flavor. <clears throat> Next time I'd probably give that two minutes so that the noodles aren't quite so done, but it's still good, guys. Yep. All right, there you have it. Pressure cooker beef and broccoli. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.